Kira. Today, this video is not just for those businesses that are already um, sort of working in the immigration space and hiring migrants and know kind of what's going on, but also for those that just don't know that you can actually bring people into the country. New Zealand is open for business. Um, people can come into New Zealand. So if you've come to the end of your recruitment um, efforts and can't find talented, experienced staff in New Zealand because you know, let's all agree that that is the number one topic of discussion in pretty much any event that you go, the talent shortage, then it's very important for you to know that New Zealand is open for business. Um, and it is also important for you to know that the hoops that you've got to jump through are absolutely doable. It's not one of those things that many businesses have to shy away from. The first step of the equation is called accreditation, which a lot of businesses have got. Um, there's about 11 or 12,000 businesses that have got accreditation. The second step in that tunnel is actually the job check, uh, which is where an application is made for a role and then once immigration grants an approval, then an employer gets tokens out of that job check so they can actually go and hire migrants. The third trip, um, step of that equation is actually hiring the migrant, the, the actual migrant visa. Um, and people have been coming into New Zealand, immigration is moving through the system, the volumes are finally flowing. So the accreditation system is, is working. One of the big things that I have started hearing from employers over the last wee while is the fact that they've gone ahead and done job checks in the anticipation of finding migrants in the future, but when they find those migrants, a lot of the migrants are hired on potentials um, or they may not meet the specific requirements that have been put in the job checks. And that has become a pretty major issue um, with a lot of large businesses that have got volumes of people that need to be hired. Um, so just something to be mindful of. In, apart from that, what is really important for employers and candidates alike to know is that the green list fast track residence um, applications are open. They opened at the beginning of the month um, and we've got candidates that are applying right now. So if you've got someone who is on the green list um, they may be in New Zealand, maybe offshore, and they've got a job offer. We can actually apply for residence for them. It's not for all candidates on the green list. It's for those candidates that are on the fast track um, option for residence on the green list. Those are some roles in the construction space, some in the IT space, um, in the health space. There's a, there's a list in the immigration website. The working holidays have started moving as well, and the caps have been changed for working holiday visas. Um, sector agreements have had some change, so from the beginning of October there will be new introductions coming into the sector agreements for certain sectors like care, meat, seafood, um, there's details in our newsletter on that. And also another one um, really, really important that's a big change that's coming in December is the removal of partner work rights um, for migrants that are not paid 200% median wage or that are not in the green list. Very important for employers to know this because that's going to influence a lot of those decisions for those migrants to choose New Zealand as a destination. From December onwards, unless a migrant is actually paid 200% median wage or they are um, on the green list role, their partner will only get a visitor visa um, and will not have work rights when they come into New Zealand. Once the partner comes here, they will actually have to apply for a work visa of their own accord. Um, further details in that area, are going to be released but that is going to be quite significant. Um, we do have our webinars quite regularly and we do send out these newsletters so if you are an employer or someone in your organization wants to subscribe to our newsletter to know what's happening in the immigration sector then please subscribe. But apart from that this is a very quick run through in the immigration space. You take care people and we'll be back with more updates.